Good day everyone, my name is Maxine Infante, the leader of Group 9 Researchers from Grade 12 ICTCP. And the title of our research is Developing Library Management System Using Visual Basics and Its Effectiveness to the Grade 12 Students of Jose Abad Santos High School. And now, to give you a brief discussion about our study, here are the objectives and the statement of the problem. Objectives of the study First, to develop a system for library management system for the sake of secured and fast transaction of the students to the library staffs. Second, to create a library management system for our school, Jose Abad Santos High School, and engage the students, especially the grade 12 students, to the adoption and exposure to the modern techniques of library managing and transactions. Third, to apply our knowledge and skills learned from our chosen strand, which is programming. Also, to determine and reflect out the level of effectiveness of having such library management system at school on grade 12 students of Jose Abad Santos High School. And now, let's go to the statement of the problem. Our statement of the problem one is, what are the most common problems encountered by the students in library? Statement of the problem number two, what should be the functional features included in the library management system? SOP 2.1 proposed system, SOP 2.2 design. Statement of the problem number three, how effective are having these such features in library management system on grade 12 students of Jose Abad Santos High School? Good day, I'm Emmanuel Sibaldi Jr. of Group 9, and I am here to represent and discuss the analysis of the data on our statement of the problem number one, which is what are the most common problems encountered by students in a library. So, for our statement of the problem number one, we will be using the formula frequency and percentage distribution, where the structure of our formula will be P is equal to F over N multiplied by 100, where P is equal to percentage, F is equal to frequency, and N is the total number of respondents. By using this formula, we will get some accurate answers for our statement of the problem number one. On the next slide, data table and description are presented. The first column of our data table are the problems encountered by the students in the library. The second column, we have computed the tally of each problem listed as choices in the survey to find out what really are the most common problems encountered by the students in the library. And the third column is the frequency, which is, which is the numerical value of the tally. And at the fourth column are the resulted or computed frequency. So, according to the table results, we will get the top 5 most common problems encountered by the students whenever they go to library. The researchers get the frequency of each listed problem to determine the most frequent answer of the respondents and converted cal calculated it to percentage using the formula above. So, here are the most frequent results based on survey analysis. Number 1, noisy surroundings, 50%. Number 2, lack of update about books available, 49%. Number 3, absence or lack of book materials, 44%. And number 4, absence of some materials like computers, 36%. And number 5, limited opening hours, 33%. Okay. We're going to this statement of the problem number 2 which is the, what should be the functional features included in library management system. In SOP number 1, we use the frequency and percentage distribution as a statical formula, formula for analyzing data. On the other hand, to, uh, to, anal to analyze the statement of the problem number 2, the formula is getting the percentage will be used. So, the formula is getting the weighted mean is P is equal to Fn times 100, where P is equal to percentage, 
f is equal to frequency and n is equal to total number of percentage so let's go on the next slide to see the table of application data gathered and discussed on how we'll be answering we're going to this proper design n is equal to 70 f is equal to 2 so 2 divided by 70 times 100 is equal to 3 percent that's as our percentage and number three is both n is equal to 70 f is, is, is equal to 63 so 63 divided by 70 times 100 is equal to 90 percent in the statement of the problem number two we used pie chart for graphical representation based on this graph the data that had the highest percentage is the both consists of 93 percent which represents that proposed system and proper designing of developing a library management system should be applied. Proposed system consists of 4% and proper design consists of 3%. Next is the analysis. Statement of the problem number 3. Question. How effective is having such features in library management system to grade 12 students of Jose Abad Santos High School? To answer the statement of the problem number 3, weighted mean will be used. The formula is M is equals to F4 plus F3 plus F2 plus F times 1 times N, where M is weighted mean, the summation of the weighted frequencies F is the frequency and N is the total number of respondents. Next, here is the Likert table. Likert 1 is interpreted as strongly agree with its corresponding arbitrary scale of 0.01 to 1.0. Likert 2 is interpreted as disagree here is the Likert table with its corresponding Likert 1 arbitrary is interpreted scale as strongly agree to with its corresponding arbitrary Likert scale. 3. Of point is zero one to one point zero, with its arbitrary scale of two point one to two point four, with its corresponding arbitrary scale one point one to two point zero, with its corresponding arbitrary scale as agree two point four to one point zero, with its arbitrary scale of two point one to two point four t. Likert four is interpreted as strongly agree with its corresponding arbitrary scale. 2.41 to 3.30. Students will have easier access to the library stops. Strongly agree that 18 response multiplied to 1, which is its corresponding liker. Disagree that 6 response 1. Multiplied to 2, its corresponding liker. Agree that 26 response. Multiply to 3, its corresponding liker. Lastly, only agree that 15 response. Multiply to 4, its corresponding liker. The total is 168 and divide to 70. So the mean equal is 2.4. It is interpreted as a agree. Number two, possible flip. Books availability updates student. Have a total mean of 2.43. Number three, possible effect. Saves more time on finding books needed. Have a total mean of 2.5. Number four, possible effect. Serves as student's guide on requesting books to librarian have a total mean of 2.7 number 5 possible level simplifying all library transaction to library have a total mean of 2.7 the 6 possible effect age students to modern use of technology in library have a total mean of 2.16 number 7 possible effect Empower students' independency in gathering information using books. Have a total mean of 2.47. The eight possible effect. Hastiness in going to library to read books will be lessened. Have a total of 
2.13 denied possible effect. Reduce students' transportation expenses. Have a total mean of 2.43. The last possible effect. Students will patronage more the online library than the traditional libraries. Have a total mean of 2.33. As you can see, the researchers conducted a survey based on the data to determine the possible effects. The researchers prepared some different questions to rate the respondents strongly disagree, disagree, agree, strongly agree. Most of the respondents chose strongly agree with a total of 240. Based on the data computation, strongly agree and agree have a total of 20.14 This shows the weighted mean of each scales chosen as a response of respondents. Based on the calculated mean, the data are mostly on agree and strongly agree scale. The following possible effects listed in the survey are mostly for students' advantage benefits.